The more that you read, the more things you will know. The more you learn, the more places you'll go. Dr. Seuss, I can read with my eyes shut. A friend of mine recently told me that she believes adult writers who were childhood readers have acquired a natural talent for word craft. She went on to explain that she didn't read much as a kid. Her love of writing drove her to read more as an adult, and she feels she has to work harder at writing than her writer friends who grew up with their noses buried in books. Makes sense to me, but then again, I was one of those reading kids. Melissa Donovan, writer. The teacher teaching reading and writing are so important and significant to me. They're two of the most important things that I do in my job because it helps children to communicate with the world. Um, when I taught older children, like first and second grade, before I came to the preschool, I would have children who maybe struggled in reading and writing. But the first time that they were able to put anything on paper, even just a scribble, just something that represented their thoughts and their expressions, and they were able to communicate that to me, it opened up a whole world for them. It made them realize that they could do it, that they were competent, that they were members of a larger community. And I just, I absolutely loved that because there's nothing greater than giving a child the gift of communication in many different ways. scribbling out what might be mommy's grocery list, um, just mimicking and imitating the writing they're seeing in their world, and that evolves then into showing us their thoughts, their feelings, um, a way of communicating to us. It's magical. It's absolutely magical. Um, they're validated that what they're showing us with their first early scribbles and then mock letters and zigzags, that um, it contains power and empowered to communicate. It's a big thing. For the adults in their lives, we want them to, to nurture that and validate that through the whole process of becoming an adult lover of language and reading and writing. Have you noticed how much you can find on the internet? I mean, there are literally billions of pages out there filled with text, images, and most importantly, video. Video or films can reach millions of people, either through a weekend at the movie theater or a night on the couch in front of the TV with your friends and family. And when you put those videos on the internet, you can reach a worldwide audience. Can you imagine it? Six billion people on the internet watching your video, sharing your vision and ideas, just hanging on every word. And the best part, if they're creative too, they can create a video in response and post it for the world to watch as well. Ideas, stories, legends, laughs, loves, and passions. Video is the most powerful way to share your ideas. And the internet is the fastest way to share your videos, your ideas, with the world. are you. The only way to explain that is either by writing it down and showing the world who you are through your poetry or reading someone else's. This character you're developing whatever you're working on and you watch the steps they go through you can relate a lot of that back to your own life and when you have a character who like sometimes you'll have a character who really really reminds you of yourself and that is usually the Best. Like I love doing characters like that because it helps you really give insight into your own life and when you can like, because I see when you understand yourself better, it's an e you understand everything better. I actually don't always love to be a writer. Um, it's just a part of, of who I am, like breathing and eating, and I, I can't imagine living this life and not doing it. I mean, when I think about the things that one can lose in any given lifetime, that's the one that I, like, if that one goes, if I can no longer write, if I can no longer read, I don't know what I would do. I can foresee losing partners, cats, pets, jobs, the whole nine yards. I can't imagine losing the ability to interact with language, and um, it just holds me up. It sustains. Um, it, it, it gives me hope. 
um, it gives me faith in, in human beings and um, it gives me endless amusement at my own folly. To be able to put your thoughts down on paper and share a piece of yourself with somebody else um, is quite an exquisite thing. And um, so any type of writing, whether you consider yourself a, you know, to be a writer or not, is going to have value just because writing itself is valuable and what you have to say and what you can put down on paper matters because you matter. So you know, if you treat writing with respect, it's not a thing that you just toss here and there and throw something, throw some negative piece of feedback at somebody or um, something horrid like that. You know, writing is, a, um, is an opportunity to create connection. And when you can treat it with that level of respect, you can build bridges where there, you might think there aren't any left at all or even anything that you have to say to someone else when you can reach out authentically and honestly. After having spent the time communicating with yourself in that way, you can then communicate with other people. Um, so whether you're writing fiction or memoir or poetry or you journal write or you write emails or text, it doesn't make any difference. But don't underestimate the power of the pen. There's a reason why writers are thrown in prison. There's a reason why poets are some of the most threatened and threatening people to certain regimes. Because we pay attention and we put down on paper what we see and we reflect back things that are in our society that, that we find troubling, that we find um, might have a um, might benefit from change. And that can be pretty threatening far more powerful than a gun. Pick up your pen, sit down, be honest with yourself, and be honest with the world in a kind and compassionate way. Happy National Writers' Day.